Um, in the alimentary canal, there are a number of different accessory organs, and the accessory organs, um, some of them need to be looked at individually, of course, or each of them do, but what we're looking at here is the liver, and the, and the liver is uh, going to contain cells that are producing bile uh, called hepatocytes, and releasing that bile through a specifically sequenced uh, group of, of ducts. Uh, and remember that the, the duct that it ultimately goes to will be the common bile duct down here that joins with the main pancreatic duct with the hepatopancreatic ampulla and uh, facilitates most of the digestion processes that occur in the duodenum of the acid chyme contents. So if we were to, to go from that smaller organ to this one, um, this is the liver. This is the right lobe of the liver. This is the, uh, the caudate lobe. Here's the left lobe of the liver. This is the inferior vena cava. Um, down below here, you can see the quadrate lobe of the liver, right? And so the liver would sit um, like so. This is the back of the liver. This is the right side. And it would be in the, uh, in the right hypochondriac region. And the left lobe would be in the epigastric region with the stomach and transverse colon and pancreas. All right, so there's ligaments attaching it into place and um, stabilizing it. And what we're looking at here on the base of it would be that system of ducts that lead to the common bile duct at the hepatopancreatic ampulla, the hepatic portal system, and the blood vessel off the celiac trunk that provides uh, oxygenated blood to the hepatocytes for their production of bile and for their normal function. So this is the hepatic branch off the celiac trunk from the abdominal aorta that supplies oxygenated blood here. This would be the hepatic portal uh, vein, which brings blood into the, uh, to the lobules and allows for, in throughout the, uh, the um, sinusoids, cupfer cells to break down the specific uh, toxins that are present, alcohol or drugs. And this tube right here is releasing bile uh, and carrying bile that can emulsify fats or lipids in the uh, small intestine through the common bile duct. So, uh, the thing we would want to mention here is that this is the gallbladder. Uh, it's going to store uh, bile that's produced in the hepatocytes and brought there by the canaliculi and smaller hepatic uh, ducts. Um, and here we have the branch that's coming from each of the two large lobes. This is the right hepatic, that's the left hepatic, and those two join to form the common hepatic duct, which joins with the cystic duct which then becomes the common bile duct and enters into the hepatopancreatic ampulla with the main pancreatic duct to, to help control the uh, fatty chyme that's entering the duodenum from the stomach. If we look at this a little bit closer and we look at this model, this model represents the smaller units that are within the larger lobes and these are called lobules. So a lobule has six sides to it at each of the points uh, of those six hexagonal points on the uh, outer surface of this um, structure, we have what is called the portal triad, which consists of a, uh, a um, portal vein, a small duct that is a um, bile duct or hepatic duct, and a, um, a branch of, off of the hepatic artery to supply oxygenated blood. Uh, in the pathway that you see, uh, or the, in the center of the, uh, the pathway um, linking this triad on all the corners would be the central vein and what connects them are sinusoids and those are visible here. So this is one portal triad. Here's the hepatic uh, artery coming from the celiac trunk that supplies blood to this area and the hepatocytes and cells of this area. Here's the hepatic portal vessel that's going to bring blood from the lower half of your body into the sinusoids. This cell right here would be a cup for cell that helps, with, it's a macrophage, resident macrophage, that helps with the de detoxification processes. And this, uh, this is another one, a cup for cell right here. Okay, and those would be present in the uh, actual sinusoids as would the blood being detoxified and the blood that's returning uh, from the hepatocytes uh, and all, all of the blood detoxified and the blood that's brought there that's deoxygenated now will eventually end up here in the central vein that we also see up here on the smaller part of the model but in one of these units it would be at the center and that central vein then takes all of the contents from the, from the blood that's detoxified and deoxygenated back to the inferior vena cava that we saw on the larger part of the model of the, of the liver. Okay, so um, the last thing I would say is that this is that small bile duct, right, hepatic duct, and these, uh, the, this would be connected via each of these small little canaliculi, these small green openings, 
And these uh, little pathways, communicating pathways, carry from every one of these hepatocytes here, bile that's uh, produced uh, for storage eventually in the uh, in these um, gallbladder and uh, for entrance into the duodenum for emulsification of fats.